Happy Thursday, everyone, and welcome to episode 29, Are You Uncommon? So I want to know, do you consider yourself uncommon? If you do, that's great. Congratulations. Because I've read in my Bible that uncommon is a blessing. You see, we all have this seed that we're born with. The seed of salvation. And if we water the seed, it will grow and blossom into something beautiful. But you are a flower among the weeds. You are specifically chosen for a mighty purpose. In the Bible we read, God says, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. And this plan includes you and I. We just have to receive it and believe it. That's the hard part. The word gets choked by the world. And it then dampers our vision where we can't see clearly into the great purpose that is ours for the taking. And if you've ever listened to me, you know that I believe that there is purpose in our pain. But it's not as easy as it looks. The struggle is real. But what I want you to get today that uncommon is good. You don't want to be like everyone else. Being like everyone else is tiring. You know, look at all the TikToks and the, the one minute clips of booty shaking. <laughs> and sometimes it's just it's so silly. You know, but the world's way of thinking, they have all triggered this in such a way that we get our dopamine hits because we were all prone to addiction. And if we don't do something to stop it, all of this consumes us. And of course, there is addiction to alcohol and drugs. Those are the big ones. But what we don't see is that all these things that we underestimate, such as Facebook or iPads, these things that we just brush under the rug, they are consuming us too. But Jesus created us for so much more. And we must find balance in our lives. We have to be an active participant in our life. And we get so hurried by our jobs and the to-do list that it becomes quickly so easy to just brush aside reading our Bibles or simply listening to something that will grow our faith. But these things are what truly matter. And the devil doesn't want you to see this, but once you begin to grow in faith, you start becoming fulfilled. And I myself have just been bombarded with one thing after another, and it seems it's just to get my attention away from what I'm doing. 
to distract me. You know, in between podcasts or videos, I'll get a cold. I, I won't be able to talk. And it's so obvious what's going on. And I really have to work at being healthy. But more importantly, I must be spiritually healthy. We must be on guard and be alert. And this is something we need to do in our spiritual lives. Trust me, do everything you can to get up and spend time with God. Pray for help and ask for protection. And this is where a community of like-minded individuals friends is really helpful but don't believe that you're just like everyone else that you should just go with the flow no becoming a better person is anything but going with the flow you have to do things a little different okay a lot different you have to work at it if you want to progress and grow with anything, you have to work at it. But don't for once let the devil convince you that what you think is uncommon is a bad thing. Let's embrace our individualities. Let's embrace our weaknesses. And let's grow and learn from them. You know, like many people, I used to be so afraid of speaking in front of people. It really did consume me. <laughs> and this is actually a fear of many people, and it's a difficult thing to do. But it, this can be to our advantage in a great way, especially if you're speaking of God's kingdom. This is to help other people. And we can push past the pain and really thrive. Look at how many speakers, you know, if they wouldn't have, and they will all tell you that when they first started, they were scared. They were so scared heart speeding, all the things. But look at them now. Look at Joyce Myers. You know, look at your Hall of Famers. Trent Shelton. Craig Rochelle. All of these people push past the pain and what they thought was uncommon and that they could not do, they did with Christ. And they are truly changing lives today. So today I want you to embrace who you are, who God made you to be. Because you are here for a mighty purpose. And that purpose will only grow from your weakness. Whatever weakness you think you have, you're going to grow from that and God's going to use that for your purpose. So that's why I don't want you to quit. Don't quit. There are so many times that I felt like a failure but I never quit. I always had this nagging feeling that if I quit, it would be worse than the pain of, of walking through speaking, walking through that anxiety worse than the pain of getting up in front of people would be regret. And I don't know about you, but now's not the time to give up. People need to hear your voice and whatever you're gifted at. 